are you avoiding asking for the sale? Are you avoiding networking because it's uncomfortable and it's awkward and you never want it to say? Do you hate getting those government letters in the mail and resist opening them? Have you reached your business ceiling, your networking ceiling, your referral ceiling? In other words, have you reached the ceiling that's blocking and stopping you from going forward? Hey, entrepreneurs, business owners, direct salespeople, I know that you know that I know that you know that you are. And what's causing that is these little buggers. They're called trapped emotions. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Emotion Code Bro Show. I am here with John Inverarity every Saturday morning, 9 o'clock Pacific Time, 12 noon Eastern. And today, this show is for you. If you're a business owner, an entrepreneur, uh, or a wannabe, one, either one of those, or direct sales, anybody that's selling in business and needs to connect with people, we're going to help bust the block that's stopping you from growing a rapid, um, successful business. And uh, I'm going to welcome John to the show. Good morning, John. Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. Yes, my name is John Inverarity, Emotion Code Bro. Always a pleasure to be here Saturday mornings. And yeah, I'm also certified in the Body Code, which is also a program developed by Dr. Bradley Nelson. Yes. And yeah, so if you are watching live and an entrepreneur, have your own business, um, we're looking to help you in yeah. today's session. So, there are two people, right? Yeah. So, John, some of the things that we're going to help people with today is like, uh, again, maybe maybe you fear um, um, going to networking meetings or maybe when you get there, you're just fumbling. You don't know what to say. Yeah. Uh, I had a little list here. Maybe. Um, oh, maybe you fear talking to your accountant. Ugh. Or maybe following up with emails. How many emails have you flagged that you haven't followed up with? How about following up that lead that wants to buy something? And you haven't done that yet. What else, John? Asking for the sale? Answering your phone? Yeah. Phoning people phone. back? Yeah. Yeah. So we want you to be specific of what your block is. Yeah. Technology. Oh. Social media resistance. Hashtag. Get on the bandwagon already, or not the yeah. bandwagon, just get on the wagon, okay? So uh, now you tell us what your business block is. You know that it's stopping and blocking you from moving forward, and uh, tell us what the severity is. Zero being, I don't have any, then you wouldn't tell us about it. Ten being, holy S-balls, I can't even look at my computer or answer my phone, or when I go to the networking meeting, I'm at the food table, or I don't leave it. 150 open, unopened emails. Yes, and they're all flagged for follow-up, and you are in heavy resistance. A couple of quick little announcements. Uh, for those of you that are interested in taking Dr. Bradley's Emotion Code uh, Practitioner course, and you would like the support from me to mentor you through that process, uh, I offer a mentoring program with the Dr. Bradley's program. You have to take Dr. Bradley's program first with and I have the affiliate link that you can get that. And when you do that, I'll give you a 30-minute mentoring session before you start the training. I've developed some worksheets and processes to streamline the process so you can have a big picture understanding of what needs to happen. And also, I'll give you permission to inside my Facebook group. It has 700 members now where you can go ask them if they want to have a session. Now, it's easier to ask the 700 people in my emotion code room than your mama or your friends or your neighbors, because they might not think they they might think this is crazy. So uh, if you are considering doing the emotion code certification with Dr. Bradley Nelson, go inside my emotion code room and you will see the link to my affiliate program. I'd love to support you in doing that. We are building a really strong community of practitioners and clients of John and I that have had sessions and success stories. It's a happy place out there. Isn't it? Secondly, if you are in the Toronto area, I'm doing a Law of Attraction seminar, which is my first love, and on June 3rd, and you can uh, go to hangoutwithmichael.com, and under events, you'll see how to do that, or Fredericton, New Brunswick on June 8th, both of those places, doing a Law of Attraction seminar. So, John, tell me a story about uh, and uh, what was going on with you. And then we're gonna welcome some people and find out who is gonna get an emotion code session today. Go ahead, please. Yeah, a story, actually a personal story with myself, about my own business blocks. Uh, it was before I met you, actually. I, I did had to do 10 sessions with someone. I hired someone and they worked on me to clear all these business blocks because I was stagnant and just not going anywhere. I hit a ceiling 
and just wasn't able to market. So I did 10 sessions. I, I knew what I wanted. I needed, you know, help marketing. And then look who showed up. I remember that. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Hey, listen, I was limping on stage for five years. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, I knew I some I knew about the emotion code and I thought again that I would have to travel and I knew there would be nobody on Gilligan's Island where I live. So I thought, oh, you know what, the closest place was Vancouver. So I typed in Vancouver, emotion pro practitioner and body code and your name showed up. And I'd be remiss to say that I did email you and you didn't get back to me for like three days. Oh, uh, it was a Twitter message. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Twitter winner. Oh, you I think you had Twitter resistance back then. I did. I had Twitter resistance. Twitter resistance. So, uh, you know, that's law of attraction matching you and I together. And even yep. when we first start to do the bro show, I didn't want to do it. Well, it wouldn't be bro show for just me, but I didn't want to do it by myself. I was unsure of myself and lack of confidence and all that stuff. You know, I don't know what episode we're on now. Something like we're 45. talking a year ago. It was in June. We're 50. Yeah. What show? Four five. We're number 45. So 45 Fridays ago was our first, and I needed you. I needed you to, to help me with confidence, and we both, you know, our first show, it was pretty smooth, but underneath all that was S-balls, a lot oh, of yeah. It's like we were doing And we were out there. We were talking about the Emotion Code, doing it like, honestly, I think we were some of the first people ever to do it on YouTube Live, or Facebook Live for sure, and start putting up new, so we had to go through, I had to go through lots of, um, vulnerability it's like wow this is so vulnerable to do this and now yes yeah. yeah i'll no. do this at 7-eleven and you won't stop me or at max convenience store i'll do it anywhere so thanks for that story john john let's welcome some of our friends today we're skipping the keys and we're looking for you that who wants to have an emotion code session i've got my pad ready john and i are going to welcome people and we're going to see who has raised their hand put your hand in the air so John, let's welcome some friends. Yeah, here. say hi to, uh, Misty says hi. She says, hi bros, hashtag Alaska Misty in the house. Misty. Don Boam says, good morning. Uh, Renee Harrison says, hi bros. Kevin Hewn says, hey bros. Hey Kevin, hey Renee, good morning. Leslie Marshall joined us this morning. Good morning, Leslie. Yeah. Barbara Rowan <clears throat> from the UK Mr. giving us a yay. Yeah, and Natasha Paula Samuel says, hello, Michael and John, looking forward to another Razzle Dazzle show. Thank you. Austin J. Sloan, he's giving us a hello. Good morning, Austin. And Kareen Beach Murray says, good morning. And Dia Lewis, uh, Dia from Atlanta here. Happy Saturday. Ah, oh, we got Dia up on a boat this morning. <clears throat> Elise, <clears throat> Elise Shockey is saying, fear of returning inquiry call. Well, I think she's double dipping. What does that mean, John? It means we worked on you before. Yeah, but you know what? So we like to work, work on, on new people. Time. The returning inquiry phone calls. Yeah, at least was brain fog, wasn't it? I think we I'm worked not sure. on least, seven people. What did I work on you in the past and tell me your results? Uh, by the way, we're asking anybody that we work on today to share this on your Facebook page and other social media. Elise, I'm going to work on you today. Fear of returning inquiry calls. Imagine that. I mean, you know, that's not unusual. Severity is an eight. I bet you a lot of you out there are fear of returning inquiry phone calls, <clears throat> whatever that might be. But today, Elise is going to be the recipient of that. Renee Harrison has joined us. Good morning, Renee. She thinks she has blocks to technology and email automation know-how. Okay, Delilah Cordova, hey Delilah, good morning. She's saying that her and Kevin, both prospecting is a huge block. And what else, Prospecting, Jared? yeah, that's a good one. Uh, AJ Sl Sloan says, hey. MJ Capana says, hello. Mm. Yeah, Kevin J. Hewn or Kevin Hewn put the link out there to the Toronto seminar. And uh, Lauren Nelson Bowman. Oh, it's, 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 such a, it's such a game. Lauren Nelson Bowman. She's saying good morning. Good morning. Sig Brown's here today. Hey, Sig Brown. Hey, she's saying uh, she didn't listen, listen yesterday, but she's here today. Well, I'm glad, Sig, because you're an entrepreneur and businesswoman. And Cindy Trost has given the hashtag love emotion code bros. Thank you, Cindy. Nice to have you with us. 
Pleasantville, IA. Is that Iowa, Pleasantville? I thought that was a cartoon city. Pleasantville. I know there's I'd one in California, in but IA. Iowa? IA, Lois Ward is in Pleasantville. Well, good, John. Why don't you scan and decide who you'd like to work with? I'm going to work with the least. Maybe you can narrate for me. And um, without doing the full set of keys, I've got the emotion code chart behind me. There's 60 emotion codes on that chart. This chart is developed and owned and operated by the lovely and talented Dr. Bradley Nelson. I have the same chart in front of me, so I won't be turning around to look at that. I'm going to be using muscle testing, and Elise has given me permission to work on her. John, you know the expression, we're all connected? Well, it's true. Just like a little thread, we are all connected. And because of that, I can dial in, double quotes on dial in, to Elise's subconscious mind, because her subconscious mind knows the exact reason why she's scared to return, well, I wouldn't say scared, she didn't say it was scared, why she has resistance blocks to returning inquiry calls. Somebody's making an inquiry, she's resisting that. I don't know what it is. Her conscious mind can make up a thousand stories, but her subconscious mind, hashtag knows everything. And it knows which one of these trapped emotions are causing her to resist returning it. Her resistance is a level of an eight. I'm gonna use muscle testing to find out what the trapped emotion is, and when I find it, then I'm going to release it, release that trapped emotion, and then I'm going to test it. My goal is to get her severity to from unhappy to super happy in zero. And all of this can work really well, John. Talk about this. With a lot of water, not a little bit, a lot of water. Hole in the lip, Misty Anderson. <laughs> Okay, so right now, muscle testing right now. I'm asking Dialed my it. subconscious mind, uh, and it's a yes. Do I have enough water? Do I need more? Let it go if it's a no. I don't need more water. So I've connected with Elise before, so I bet you we connect easily this time. So I have Elise's permission. There we go. Uh, I'm, am I Michael? No. Connected. Am I Peter, Paul, Mary, Joseph, Jesus? No, but I am Elise. And my subconscious mind, my conscious mind was talking about my resistance and blocks to returning inquiry phone call. Is that true? What is the severity of this problem? Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Subconscious mind, who's the boss of everything, saying it's a nine. Her conscious mind said it's an eight. Big deal, eight to nine, same death. So I want to find out what the trapped emotions that are causing this. Are they in column A? They're not. Are they column B? Oh, they are. Is it an even row, odd row, one, three, five, one, two, three, four, five? It's wishy-washy. John, what does that mean? Lack of, lack, to lack backbone or lack support, it's almost like a spiritless type of emotion, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like indecisiveness. It's like, should I do it? Shouldn't I do it? So I'm picturing her in front of her emails, wishy-washy. Uh, yeah. Wishy-washy is like teeter-totter to me. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's indecisive, but more. It's more severe than indecisiveness. Yeah, good, I'm finding other trapped emotions. This time I got panic that was inherited from my mom or her mom, talk about that. What does that mean, John, inherit it? Usually you're born with it. So not only do we trap these easy little buggers during our lives, but we can be born with them too. Yay! Yeah. So something Yeah, and I just found another one from her dad. So she had through. her own trapped emotion of panic. Then yeah. she had an inherited trapped emotion of panic from her mom and now from her dad. Yeah. So you're living your parents' vibrational energies in a sense. So yeah, there's, okay. there's no more trapped emotions. Now I found a couple of hidden buggers. Yeah, I'd like to ask for hidden ones. For some reason, the subconscious hides things. It's to stay in the comfort zone. Clear them out. Oh, I found the last one. It's prenatal panic. Prenatal, so that means in the womb. So taking on. Uh, likely from your mom, or maybe dad, or maybe a sibling, so absorbed before you were born. Okay, I'm going to test my work now. Before And remember, I'm used, talking as if I'm Elise. 
Before today's session, what was the severity that was stopping and blocking, resisting me to returning inquiry phone calls, possible sales? Was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? And now is it 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one? Oh, I missed one. So it's a severity of a one. Is it? Okay, I found it. Okay, I'm gonna ask that question again. On a scale of one to 10, what is the severity that's stopping and blocking resisting me to making returning inquiry phone calls? It used to be an eight. Is it an eight? Is it seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero? Do I need to do any more on that? No, so I'm done. Am I done? Do I need to do more? Okay, I'm just gonna disconnect. At least you can quick. hold your head up high. <laughs> And you can get to your phone today and return all those phone calls because that's money knocking at your door. Oh, what's that sound? That's the sound of money knocking at your door. John, who are you going to work with today? I'm going to go with Renee Harrison. Technology okay. blocks. Yeah. That was something we, we talked about in the green room. Okay, go ahead with Renee. So I'm just I'm going, going to connect to, up. to uh, scan through here, John. Yeah, there's lots of new comments. Cool. While you get set up, yeah. Get my water. Water, one of the seven keys. Okay, connect up, Renee. Harrison, proxy, Renee. Harrison, so technology and email automation, <laughs> know how. <laughs> That'd be two things, right? Cindy Trost, hashtag 7-Eleven, emotion code healing. <laughs> Hey, Pramelia, Pram, welcome. Good morning, bros. Great hanging out with you this morning. Hey, Jules with us this morning. Good morning, Michael and John. Helene is with us this morning. Wow, Vancouver Island is set me in the house. There's three people right in a row that live here on Gilligan's Island with me. Well, they're saying, why do I call it Gilligan's Island? Well, it's an island. Hashtag Captain Obvious. We're on the west coast of Canada, and it's a small island. Yeah. Helene is saying, I had that fear of returning inquiry phone calls and the emotion code got rid of it. Good news. I got a nine for Renee, nine out of 10 for severity. Nine out of 10. Alan Davidson, good morning. He's calling from Western PA near Pittsburgh. Nice that you could join us, Alan. Delilah got disconnected, or uh, Dia got disconnected. She's back. My friend Sheldon Foster's in the house. Hey, we got a fun update from Kareem Beach Murray. Okay. Michael cleared me of Reese's peanut butter chocolates on Easter candy show. I didn't even have the desire to go buy the Easter candy clearance deals. Oh yeah, hashtag clear the clearance deals, right? She didn't even have the desire for the clearance deals. Good work, Corinne. They're clearing grief, so discouragement and grief. Oh, Barbara, we're always being a little cheeky this morning. Wishy-washy. I used to be indecisive, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> Pamelia Bell's with us, friend of both of ours. She is saying, good morning. I look forward to this show every week. Yeah, so do I. And we're clearing self-abuse. Uh, just a morning, John and I both offer 30 minutes or under sessions. You saw how long it took me to clear Elisa's blockage to returning a phone call. What if the phone call she re replied today brought in hundreds and hundreds of dollars? Are you sitting on some blocks today that are stopping you from meeting a contact or getting a referral or getting an affiliate or... Uh, an opportunity. Imagine a 30 minute session with John or I. Hashtag, we'll clear the snot out of you in 30 minutes, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yes, I said that out loud. <laughs> and at least we're going to ask you to uh, give us an update by next meeting, by next week's meeting. Hey, Morales Andy's with us. Good morning, Morales. Confusion. Jennifer Donovan, if you're still taking people, I would love to have a clearing. Okay, I'm just going to refresh here. 
Why don't you give us an update, John? Cleared a bunch, four or five so far. Grief, discouragement. There was a confusion. Confusion is just like brain fog or just like it's just a huge block confusion, yeah. right? Yeah, especially with email automation. It's not fun for anyone. Hey, listen, I, I set up a, um, my printer today. I got a new printer and it's um, wireless. Oh, yeah. Like, how does that work? Yeah, it takes a week. <laughs> how do all those words go through the air and print? I don't get that. So I get it. So Renee's giving you a, whoa, Sig Brown says, I'm not attracting paying customers for my design work. I get great comments, but no buyers. Oh, that's definitely some blockage out there too. Mm -hmm. uh, Cindy's saying, we love zero. Yes, we do. Very Sig Brown saying it's a three hour cruise away where I live. 20 minute float plane or half hour. That's the yeah, best way. Yeah, 22 minutes from Victoria to Seattle. That's how close we are. Yeah. And it's 30 minutes from downtown Victoria to downtown Vancouver. You spend more time at the airport than you do in the air. Yeah. PJ Ray's in the house. Helena's saying, that sound of money knocking at the door. Deborah Spring just joined us. We've got a great full house this morning. I love that. Hey, if you know any uh, entrepreneurs, business people, direct sales people, anybody in business, online businesses, and your business is not doing what you want it to do, that's because there are blocks stopping it. And John and I would love to help you with that. If you book a 30 minute session with us, bring a list. Your blocks to referrals, your blocks to sales, your blocks to opportunities to meet the ideal people, your blocks to answering the phone, your blocks to asking for the sale. You tell us what the blocks are. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a program that has everything, all that in it. And then all there's the blocks. Oh, no the blocks. Room for other. So clearing a heartache. Dia saying, I started creating an online store on Wednesday, but find myself putting off continuing to get it started. I need to remove resistance to working for myself or something like that. I would, and I would, if I was working with you, Dia, I would add creative insecurity. That's insecurity that's stopping you from being creative or coming up with ideas. So. Hashtag build a list, hire a bro. Hashtag Cindy, I know Cindy Trost is going to do that for us. <laughs> Hashtag build a list and hire a bro. Bring a list. Yeah. We're like the build a bear, you know, that little store. I think it's called build a bear. It's like build a bro, build a bro list. Okay. So okay. That's Lots of comments today. Thank you very much, everybody. Down to a three, cleared some anger, some stubbornness. A whole lot of trapped emotions. A whole lot of trapped emotions going on. Keep working. Your job's not done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hashtag going. give John the whip. Grief. There, Cindy gave us a hashtag bring a list. Yeah, Gilligan's Island was a through hour cruise. I loved it. Oh, Kathy Welter saying, uh, so awesome. Helena J, who's in the house, did a clearing with me and my business has taken off. Hashtag, that's proof right there. Trapped Alan Davidson. Small, uh, trapped emotions are <laughs> negative blocks the size of a baseball that are stopping and blocking the flow of what you want. So when we release them, uh, the flow starts and then you have a different vibration and when you have a different vibration the law of attraction is responding to the new vibration That's how it works and that's how it happens You see Alan Davidson's comment no Bring a list I emailed my list to Michael and he cleared a lot of snot <laughs> <laughs> PJ racing I need my business snot cleared <laughs> yeah. I said that out loud yeah. Oh well, that's that's my style. Yep. Sylvie Bellini is going to watch the replay. Kathy says, "Are you clearing the whole group?" Nope, just two people today, Kathy. Uh, I worked on Elise, who had a severity of an eight. She wasn't returning inquiry phone calls. I mean, all of us, not me now, but all of you probably have that. You get a phone call, and you get an email, and you, some people are sitting on it. They don't know what to say. They don't want to get rejected, whatever. The, who cares what the stuff is? Your subconscious mind knows it's one of those. 
And John, can you remind us who and what you're working on? I think some people just joined us and they want to know what we are yeah, doing. I'm working on Renee Harrison. So she has technology blocks and blocks to email automation and setting that up. So it was a nine out of a 10. I tested that. Her subconscious said it was nine out of 10. So I'm just okay. clearing a whole bunch of these trapped emotions. And That's I've got great. the magnet here, which run it over the governing meridian and that clears the emotion. It amplifies my intention to clear out that emotion. And I'm down to a two or a one now, chipping away at it, yeah. Yeah, so John's using muscle tests and you can't see his fingers. Yeah, and his muscle like testing this. are identifying which of the trapped emotions and then the magnet gets rid of it. Uh, you know, we're at 928. I don't think we started until about quarter after. So in 15 minutes, under 15 minutes, we have removed the vibrational negative energy blocks that are stopping at least from getting a sale. Yeah. Hashtag money's on the line. Call it back, right? It's like, I, I've had those. I know what that means. Putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. It's like, so you can go to hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash bros. And at the very bottom, you can see John and I. We both have online calendars. You can look at the calendar, choose, pay for your session. And in most cases, people want to join a video call like this that's private. Some people want to talk on the telephone. You can email before or bring a list with you. Now, my style is there's no chitty chat in the beginning. Hi, nice for you to join us. Here's your list. Let's get started. If you've watched The Bro Show, we don't need to spend seven minutes talking about the process. Seven minutes could change your life. Seven minutes will change Elisa's business. So come prepared, bring a list, or email us the list first, and we can get started right away. Every minute's important. Every minute is clearing the blocks that are stopping you from building a very successful business. And we don't need the story, okay? We need the symptoms. Oh, you know what? When I was 19 years old, ah, t -t 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 -t. don't need to know that. I just <laughs> John thinks I'm a little abrupt sometimes because we have different styles. Bit. I am yeah. abrupt. It's like ah, la 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 la. <laughs> I don't need to know the, back of the story. What is the symptom? Because you know what? I want you to get your 30 minutes worth. Here's the Hello? problems I'm having. Hashtag t -t -t -t. no story. A lot of people actually don't remember what happened, right? Like, say it was a trapped emotion, it was 13 or 15 or 20, That's whatever right. it was. It's like, I don't remember. It's just like, it's because you're stuffing it down. You're, you have blocked it. You may not know. You may think you know. And, you know, you can clear emotions around specific events. Yeah. But it's a combination. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, I'm going to read some comments, John. You're near wrapping up. Misty Anderson says, bring Michael your list and get down to business. Yeah, I got <laughs> a zero for Trost. Renee. Oh, great. Congratulations to you and Renee. Cindy Trost is saying, hashtag, skip the chitty chat. <laughs> Helena sings, um, no stories, just the symptoms. Love it, no content. That's right, We because sometimes it's very personal for people. We don't need to know the story of how it happened. And we don't uncover the story. We just uncover the trapped emotions. Seven minutes could change your life, says Helena Jensen. We have a new watcher today, Kathy Welter. Yes, Kathy love you guys. Welter. Just change your life. Seven minutes minute can goal. change your life. Hey, Kathy Welter, uh, you might be new to us today, but we have uh, a whole playlist on uh, iTunes. So we have an iTunes channel with all the videos there and all the podcasts. We also have a YouTube uh, playlist channel on my page. You go to hangoutwithmichael.com forward slash bros. You can see all the magical stuff. We've done everything from runny noses to constipation to business blocks to heart blocks. And that list is a mile long. Yeah, seasonal allergies, panic, anxiety, repetitive rituals, excessive urination. The long list. Yeah. Kathy says, can you do a group? The answer to that, not all at once, but last week uh, I tapped into this healing center in Florida and it was an hour long and they had six people that came, uh, the host, and then she had a chair beside her. And we brought six people that sat beside her one at a time and I worked, they all had pain and I worked on six people in one hour. Yes, yeah. I get rid of all their pain and they're like, their eyes are bugged out of their head. So we can do a group, but not together. We can bring right. a group. 
even my sister belongs to Weight Watchers. I said, well, get a bunch of your hashtag Weight Watcher friends in a room and line them up. I'll process them. No chitty chat. Next, next, next. <laughs> Helena's saying money's on the line. Call it back. Hey, Kelly Carson's with us. Okay, Lauren Nelson Bowman says, what are your thoughts about doing email sessions? I work a full-time job right now and I don't have lots of time to make appointments via Skype. I've been doing email sessions only and sending them the results. I do that. Yeah, I do a few of those a week. I don't like them at all. I have a client that's watching that sends them to me, but I, you know, I have questions during the process. I was, you know, you want to get feedback. I know, John, you don't mind doing that, but um, it's not my style. But, Lauren, it's, it works for you. Listen, when I was working for the government full time and I was doing my law of attraction stuff, I made it work. Just like, you know, you do whatever you need to do. So yeah. you don't need our opinion about whether uh, whether we like it or not. It's whether it works for you. And it sounds like this is a great transition for you to be able to do it. So congratulations on doing the email session. I tend to need to have feedback and say, okay, how's it feel now? Exactly, what part of your neck is it? And uh, it can't really work by uh, email too well. I guess people aren't scared of the word snot because Pamelia is saying, I need my business snot cleared too. Yeah. <laughs> Cindy Trost, that's my style and I'm sticking to it. Uh, maybe you can answer this for Kathy and then we're gonna start to wrap up. Kathy is saying, how are you using the magnets? John, why don't you answer that? Oh, I did. I did previously, yeah, when I was doing my session. So the magnet is goes over the governing meridian, amplifies our intention to clear the trapped emotion. So it's, yeah. it's part of the process, part of the application. So there's like specific steps in, in the certification. So it's the emotion code. If you want, read the book. It's all in there. It's Dr. Bradley Nelson's technique, and there's a certification technique for it as well. If you watch previous episodes, normally we talk about the keys to the whole process. But you know what, we skipped the keys today, but there's seven of them that, that un help you give you a big picture understanding of how this works. Yeah. John, I think no we're keys. gonna uh, get a lot of interest in next week, there's the keys right there. We're gonna get a lot of interest in next week's show. Can you tell us what we're working on next week, please? It's money blocks. So different than business blocks, but it's money ceilings and money blocks. So staying in your comfort zone. So it's, um, Kind of a continuation from this week, but um, yeah, looking for people with specific money blocks. Mm -hmm. yeah, money blocks, uh, you know, and particularly the money ceiling. What's your yeah. take on the money ceiling? Yeah, everyone has a subconscious money ceiling or a set point or a comfort zone that you stay in. And mm -hmm. we're helping people blow that away. That's right. You know, by that, I mean, you make so, you, you know, you, you do whatever, you make so much money, you just never, just when you think you're going to go above it, you got bills to pay or something, like you, you just never get, well, that's a vibrational money ceiling. I think we should call yeah. it that. The V M C, <laughs> the yeah. VMC, the vibrational money ceiling. And this is what the roof is right here. Oh, I'm good today. Huh? I am good today. This is the roof that's stopping the vibrational money ceiling. We can help Peace. you with that next it's right week. Here. Uh, we really appreciate everybody joining us today. We love our jobs. We love um, using the emotion code. We just love being here. Uh, thanks for chilling out with us today. And we would love for you to share today's show. John and I, like always, after uh, we've got a couple things to do, but after today's show, and an hour or so, we're going to go out and answer your questions, your comments. If you have any, leave them out here. If you want to send us private messages, you can do that. And absolutely for sure, my hunch is that you can come up with a list of five, six, seven things that we can help you clear in one 30-minute session. And ideally, you would commit to multiple sessions so you can get multiple clearings so you can soar your life and business. John, what are your closing remarks today, please? Yeah, absolutely. We do like to see instant results and miracles in one session, but a lot of the time it does take two or three sessions or maybe more to see lasting results. Yeah. And, yeah, thanks, everyone, for watching, liking, sharing your comments. Uh, yeah, thanks for your, your help and inspiration. Good stuff. Okay, everybody, we'll see you later next week. And uh, even though that uh, we're signing off now, 
still leave a comment. And if you're watching after the replay, we still get notifications and listen to, listen and read your comments. So go ahead, say hello. We're also going to put the link to my Facebook group. It's a private Facebook group. It's called Michael Loach's Emotion Code Hangout Room. And there's lots of free Emotion Code goodies in there and, of course, success stories. Wait to hear some of the stuff that we're working on. John, let's say goodbye to our friends at home. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye, everyone.